Today, we're going to cover open phone and we're going to look at seven pros and one con. So first, what is open phone? Open phone is a way to communicate via text and phone calls with your clients and your cleaners. It's simply an app that you can install on your phone as well as your desktop, and it separates your personal life from your business life. A lot of times when people are starting new businesses, they think they need to get a new phone line for that business. And they're right, but it doesn't actually need to be a landline and it doesn't need to be a second cell phone. Okay, so none of us need to be walking around with two phones in our pockets if we have a personal life and a business life. What you can do instead is simply get a phone number through open phone. Super simple to do. I recommend getting a local number rather than a 1-800 number. And the reason for that is 1-800 numbers don't carry the trust they used to have because we all get so many spam phone calls. So your clients won't automatically trust that number. Um, they'll think it's a huge company. And what we coach here at Cleaning Company Blueprint is how to launch, grow, and scale small local cleaning businesses. So we want things to be efficient, smooth, easy to operate, and open phone really does do that. By the way, I will say we have no stakes in open phone other than we do have an affiliate link below. So if you do want to try it out, that gives you a discount as well as a little bit for us. So if you want to support this channel, that's an awesome way to do it. But let's go through the seven pros and one con. So number one for the pros ease of use. I've kind of just talked about it. What we want you to do is be able to set up your phone line in less than an hour and at a cost efficient price. So that's about $15 US dollars a month. And it really will take you less than an hour to get it all set up. Choose your local number that you like, or if you need to port a number over, you can do that too. So that's number one. Number two are the autoresponders. Okay, here we go. So I love being able to set up autoresponders. So we can have our business hours are set up. So Monday to Friday, nine to five for us. You can choose whatever you want. And when I miss a call, you'll see. So after business hours, I wrote this great little message, sending them to our website to book online. Oftentimes when people are phoning you, they are actually going to ask you a question that is already on your frequently asked questions. So if you're using Convert Labs like we are, and you have an online booking system where you have uh, scheduling, you have your prices transparent, you have your frequently asked questions. What kind of cleaning packages do you offer? Do you do deep cleans? Do you do move in, move outs? Do you have availability? These are the kinds of questions you're going to get all the time. And being able to answer them outside of business hours where you send them directly to your website, where your website has those answers easily and quickly is a great thing. So it's one of my favorite things. And it divides my personal life from my business life. Okay, so dividing your personal life from your business life means even though they're texting you, which for a lot of people, they immediately assume that's your phone number, it's your cell phone, then this sets the boundary of actually this is a business. And Getting these autoresponders outside of business hours reaffirms that this is a business. This is not your personal cell phone. Number three is being able to send text snippets. So I'm going to show you here. So a snippet in open phone is when you are, let me just pull this up so that I can, sorry, I have to move my face. There we go. So here's how you write a snippet um, and have fun with this. You can see I was just testing this before so I could show you how to do this without revealing any of my clients personal information. So to write a snippet, you would go down, you'll see there's a bunch of different things here. You can attach a file if you have to send a PDF or photo or something, you can use an emoji. Um, and you've got commands here. That's where the snippets are as well as an AI um, bot. So for snippets, these are text messages where I answer the same question a lot. Okay, so rather than typing it out, I can just write it out once on my desktop, way easier than using my thumbs. And again, include the link to go to our website to book online, as well as our frequently asked questions. Um, just because it's something I answer all the time, it's just so much easier to use a snippet. And you'll notice that in our snippets, we have a lot, but that's we have been running our business for a few years. So my best advice here is don't get overwhelmed creating tools you don't actually need. Instead, create your snippets as you're going along and you realize, oh, you know what? I've said this more than once this week. I should make that a snippet. Okay, so oftentimes people will reach out to me asking for my snippets. I just don't think that's helpful to you. You really do have to create this yourself for your own business. 
but very handy. Okay, number four, AI assistance. So if you're having a hard time, let's say a client has, you know, written you like an essay of a text, which happens, and you're just stumped on how to answer the reply, you can click on the little AI button and it will help you to write, you know, whatever uh, message. Personally, I just find I very rarely ever need the help, but if you do, it's there for you. It is probably a really handy tool. Number five is call recording. So let me get to where I want to show this to you. I believe it's under settings. Yes. Okay. So back here. So this one here, it will auto record your calls. Um, now you can turn this on or off. We have it turned on. So every single phone call we take, whether we call out or call or get a call in is recorded. Now that's legal in my country. You should look at your country to make sure that this is a legal thing for you to do as a business. Um, it is just for internal training. We would never publish, a, you know, anybody's private phone call with their information online, obviously. But you do want to make sure you're following the rules. Now, why do I love it? I love it because sometimes I'll forget what somebody has said and I need to go back and re-listen to a recording. It is rare, but it does happen. And I also loved it when I was working with virtual assistants. So when I wasn't able to answer the phone and I had a virtual assistant answer the phone for me, I can then listen in afterwards and make sure that they're saying whatever in the way that I want them to. Okay, so um, really love that in terms of working as a team. One other feature is that, so for number six, I believe we're on right now, are the ring order. So if you go to, or sorry, phone menu. If you go to phone menu, you can enable a menu where they have to press one for this and press two for that. Now I know as a consumer calling a line and getting that is kind of annoying, but as a business owner, trust me, you will get way more calls to your business line of robocalls trying to sell you stuff than you will actual clients. And it's incredibly frustrating when you spend a whole day on the phone and you realize only one of those calls was an actual customer who was willing to give you money. The rest were trying to get money from you. So robocalls, like I'm so done with them. I'm sure everybody is. So here's my hack. I can do press one if you're a regular client, press two if you're a new client. Now you'll notice here, let the call through. It doesn't matter which one they press they still get me. Okay. So this doesn't have to be overly complicated, but it does shut down all the robocalls. And I can look at the end of the day and go, oh, wow, I had 10 missed calls. And if I look up their numbers, every single one of them is a robocall. Okay. It's very rare that a client, an actual client hits hang up because it's press one or press two. So we don't lose business, but we filter out the wasted time. The last one is, so for number seven, and it's funny that I chose this for number seven, I just randomly chose it, is um, one that we don't actually have set up right now. So analytics. Now, if you have a big team or even if you have one person working for you that's answering the phone, I do recommend upgrading to the business account. It will cost you more. I think it's like 25 or $30, not that much more. But the business account will allow you to get your analytics. So that's where you can actually look at what percentage of time is spent talking to customers, what percentage of time, uh, what percentage of calls do you miss, what percentage of calls um, do you make out, what comes in, how many text messages go out, how many come in, all that kind of stuff. When we did have this set up, when we had virtual assistants working for us, it was extremely helpful because I was able to go, okay, here are busy times this is go time. And I could look and I could go, you know what, between four and five, there's not a lot happening. Or on Thursdays and Fridays, there's not a lot happening. Our busiest season is really the beginning of the week. So I loved having the analytics when we had a team. Now that it's just me, I know what's going on. I don't need it. Um, but if you do like data and numbers and, you know, really diving in deep, what's going on with your business, there's nothing better some, than some good old data through the analytics. And then the other thing that that does is it also allows you to see transcriptions of voicemails. So if you're a reader rather than a listener, which most of us are these days, you will enjoy getting the transcriptions instead. Now, I did say I would give you a con and let's be real, open phone does go down occasionally. And I'll say that because every single tech solution goes down occasionally. And when we rely on them as business owners, that's really tough if it suddenly goes down. 
The first time it happened, um, it's only happened, I think, three times in the last three years. The first time it happened, it was out for the whole day. Now, that was three years ago. I think Open Phone's grown a lot. They have a much bigger tech team, I'm sure. But I know three years ago when it went down, I immediately went to the Convert Labs community to see, is it down for everybody else? And it was. And then we had a good old rant where everybody was like, oh, my God, we're losing business um, because we can't answer the phone. At the end of the day, did we lose business? Probably not. Our website wasn't down, so they could still go to the website. They could still book online. And in reality, as long as you still have the phone numbers of your cleaners, those are the most important people. So you can still use your actual phone and just text them saying, hey, this is my personal line. Please delete this after or whatever. I didn't. I just let them deal with the day without me and nothing happened. So that was one day. And then the other two times, it was just for a couple of hours at a time. And their tech team does reach out, letting you know what's going on. Um, They are very good about that. But I just just want to be transparent because I think it's important that whenever you're applying tech tools to your business that you understand there is a chance that that tech tool will not actually work on the day you need it to work. But everything shuts down at some point, including Amazon, Google, Netflix, like we've all experienced it, right? So that's the con. Otherwise, I actually can't think of any um, because I really do use this all day, every day. Um, I, I forgot to mention this other one, but... I should mention this, when you're working with virtual assistants or anyone else, you can also see their text messages. So in terms of streamlining communication with the team, it's unbelievable. Like being able to see them writing an answer in real time and me being able to pipe up that the client can't see and say, oh, hey, don't forget to mention this or whatever. That sounds really micromanaging of me, doesn't it? Um, Anyway, if you found this useful, if you like this, please do leave us a comment or uh, click the subscribe button. You can also book a discovery call. So if you want to talk up to us directly about um, how to set up your cleaning company, would love to meet you. I always love doing discovery calls. So you can just book that at cleaningcompanyblueprint.com. And again, if you want to try it open phone, use the link below. Thanks so much.